This is Okradowski of WeAreChange.org. Day three here at the Bilderberg Conference in Turin, Italy. Coming from the upteenth time that I was detained by the Italian authorities. But today is Saturday, a day where some of the Bilderbergers take day trips. And because of those day trips, uh, some of them were caught walking outside, which of course we were able to catch up with and have interesting conversations with. So here's a compilation of all the Bilderbergers that we just talked to. Really? Would be really nice if you could answer some questions for us. We no, I don't think so. Uh, why is there such secrecy and why, why can't we hear There is no about? secrecy whatsoever. You have all the press communiques and all that. But no, the press is in there, but they don't report no. on they're anything. They're not communicating. They're, they're harassing, intimidating us here, raiding our don't hotel Don't you think rooms. this is harassment? No, well, we're no. talking to you. You're a public figure. You're attending this meeting. And we're opening up a dialogue and we wish just to communicate with you. That's nice. It's really nice. Communicating is not harassment. It's just asking you, hey, what's going on inside? No, but running around with that, a lot of cameras, of course, is kind of harassment. We're just asking you what happened inside. There's only This is the and only you know, thing we got. You've done this so many times over, so you know I'm not going to comment on that. That's but you bad. only look guilty when you do that. And you look like you're up to no good <laughs> not if you are doing that. Oh, wonderful Kravitz family. How are you guys? We met a couple of years ago. Right, you guys nice have a to nice to see you too. You have a couple seconds just to stop and have a conversation with uh, the press that's out here. Just a few seconds. We would love to learn and understand what you guys are doing inside. Do you guys have any official comment on uh, the participation this year and some of the topics? Nothing? Nope. There's a lot of mystery. A lot of people are thinking the worst when uh, there's such little dialogue with the press and the press are treated so harshly outside. Any topics are you looking forward to? The has put out this website that's seeming to indicate a move toward more transparency. Is that the case or no? There's a Q&A on there now, answering frequently asked questions. Is there anything uh, Press statements are getting a little longer. Is there going to be a change and more opening of the Bilderberg conference? Sorry. You have to understand. Uh, People are only going to think the worst with so much secrecy. You don't need to touch me. All right, Mrs. Kravitz and Mr. Kravitz. Have a, have a good day and uh, see you next year. Hey, Mr. Dolphner, how are you? My name is Luke Rodowski of uh, We Are Change. I'm a journalist out here reporting on what's happening at Bilderberg. I was wondering how your day was. How's the event going? It's going great. It's a very very harmless, idealistic event. There's been a lot of security uh, at this event. Very tough security, especially against journalists. Are you aware of some of the protocols? Is there any, if it's, if it's harmless, can you tell us what's happening inside? Please respect that I, I'm just walking here. And oh, I don't want to give an interview, I think. We're just being Please friendly. Please be so kind to accept that. We're, we're, I told you it's a very harmless and interesting event. Okay, so tell us what's happening inside. Many years. Why should I? Why would I? Because uh, if you're doing something good, usually yeah. you guys would talk about it and explain to the world what's happening. Isn't there in a world where everything is transparent, where everything is shared and has to be shared, isn't there a kind of right to have a non-public and non-transparent dialogue in well, order to... When it comes to government officials, when it comes to government officials... Speak, speak to them, perhaps. Here. I have to look where I have to go. We can help you. No, I have GPS. You. Please, respect. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you, with, with this behavior, in a way, you are provoking even more secrecy because yeah. I was just walking around to buy something and I'm not uh, you intending to give an interview. We don't want any, we don't want any you be, know, disrespect. Be peaceful here. and just respect that. I, 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 I've, we have nothing to hide. But I think it's at the same time also a right to just say we we exchange. Could you tell our us at least what you're debating or what topic will you be General discussing? General topics, all political topics, ranging from foreign policy, populism to in Europe, artificial intelligence. There's a lot of artificial intelligence companies in there too, and you know, Please. media is also going to be a big one, which you're a part of. Which would, I would love to know more about your perspective on just the media in the future and the fake news thing that's going on there. I would love just some insight from you. Let's meet on a different occasion. Okay. Only one okay. question. Are you a Freemason? A what? Are you a Freemason? No. 
No. Are sure? That's the next conspiracy How many theory. Freemasons are inside? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Check, right. check. Well, thank check. you for exchanging the dialogue. I don't know who this is. But thank you for thank exchanging the dialogue. I hope to bye talk bye. sometime later in the future. We're just curious because, especially because of the post-truth world topic, what uh, what that Listen, might mean. We won't be in, we won't make any comments. No comments? Thank you. Why is no. that? Thank you. This leads to a lot of secrecy and a lot of misunderstandings. A lot of people speculate. You could end all of that right now with just one simple comment about how your sure. time is being sure. here. Well, we could end all of that right now with a simple dialogue. We're not trying to be rude, but we're trying to get down to the bottom of it as investigative journalists. Oh, it's important. It's not enough. Uh, this is, I mean, why is this something bad when we're just trying to officially open up a dialogue and have a conversation? How is, how is Barclays involved in all of this? It's definitely interesting to uh, at least open the dialogue. Can you make any official comment? Well, this is what comes with the territory now when you're a public figure meeting in secret. You're going to get journalists following you. We get it all the time. So it's cool. You get it all the time? Yeah, of so. course. It might, might stop yeah, if that's, uh, you were a little more right. transparent. You see how we were speaking to Russia for a second? Maybe. It's a mother language. One official statement and we'll back off. Yeah, we're going to be back home. Oh. Is it your first part? You cannot change the... You can do the checking right now. You can do face recognition and you yeah. can kind of like cross correlate it to all the lists because yeah. the, the names are public, right? Yes, right. yes. You yes. have everything, so you don't need to ask us anything. Right. Well, no, 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 but we want to know. Inside. You know, the press is in there, but they don't report on it. Now we are not inside, right? Right. Yeah, we're, we're outside. Outside, they're treating us really badly here. They're uh, interrogating us, stopping us. They raided one of our friends' homes for trying to report on this. There's a lot of intimidation when it comes to just even being outside and trying to document the meeting, and we have to deal with a lot of adversities. And, you know, we're, we're being as civil, we're, tr we're trying to be civil and just naturally just engage in a conversation. Uh, doesn't have to be anything bad, and we'd love to get a better understanding, uh, which I think is very important with such significance and such power in one building. can be influenced with various ideas that shape and mold society. So, is it not possible that the people who invited you could influence your thoughts and your opinions on popular events come that are no, going to change the world? Come on, come on, come on. No. Maybe We're you should go back. What kind of events are on the agenda? Who <laughs> well, you talk to? <laughs> and then ask questions. Maybe that's the kind of way of doing it, right? Well, we knew who you were when we walked up to you, right? Oh, okay. No, I don't know. Do you know who I am? I know who she is. I don't know who you <laughs> okay, are. Okay, good. Excellent. <laughs> then you should we go and check that. There's so many <laughs> members perfect. of the mainstream press inside. Why aren't they outside? Why isn't there I hope you're enjoying the day. It is, a, it is a nice, it is a nice walk. Day. You lucked out. It's it is very beautiful. And it's the sunny day, not the rainy day. But, yeah. but on this nice day, I think it's a great opportunity to open up some dialogue. Have some understanding. Very open. Okay. Uh, how has your experience been here so far? Has it been strenuous? Has it been easy? Has there been a lot of uh, thought going into some of the conversations Very that we're having? Interesting yeah. conversations. Yeah, yeah, fun, what was one of the most interesting ones? Very interesting conversation. I guess you see the uh, the, uh, the topics. The topics were uh, on artificial intelligence. Yeah, that's a little, that's a big topic. That's a very it's huge a very topic, topic and a very important topic. Did you uh, have any insight on that with artificial intelligence rising and some people saying that's going to have superior power to human beings? No, I don't think that's what you're talking about. Yeah. In what context? In what context? It's superior intelligence compared to human beings. Human beings are going to be always needed. Of course. Um, 
there's no With doubt about that. With all these technological that. topics on the agenda, is there some overarching theme? Is there a reason why the Bilderberg Group is focusing more on technology nowadays? Doesn't everybody? Yeah. Yeah, we do. I mean, look at us. We're all here. We're all with cameras. But we, we have our agenda, which is to have some more transparency here. So what is the Bilderberg agenda as it relates to technology? Agenda? I think that the whole idea is about discussing things and learning from each other and having opinions. Mm -hmm. Is there anything? How can we learn from the insights you've obtained from Bilderberg discussions on technology? Everybody is a public person that sits in that meeting, right? Mm -hmm. is, is it not possible they could be affecting your opinions? I don't think so. No? Is there anything interesting you learned during the conference here that uh, you didn't know before? Hmm. I would Dr. need to Steph. reflect over that after the meeting. We would love to have a conversation you say afterwards. The meeting is contributing to the benefits of the uh, post truth era. Oh, so, not surprisingly, a lot of these Bilderbergers were uh, pretty uncomfortable uh, with uh, being interviewed about what's actually happening down here, which some of them said. Oh, you know, everything's very innocent here. You have nothing to worry about. And then we said. Why don't, we, why don't you just tell us, why, why are journalists being harassed here? Which absolutely doesn't make any sense. But this is why we're out here. We're here to engage, to talk to them, to let them know that the people are out here and that it is in the public interest to find out what's going on when you have so many interests colluding with elected representatives. We're going to have more videos coming here your way on this YouTube channel. And of course, I want to thank everyone who bought a t-shirt on Teesprings and donated to us and allowed this broadcast to be possible. If it wasn't for you, beautiful and amazing human beings, I wouldn't be out here. So again, I love you. Stay tuned for more.